okay so here we'll be looking at the basics of ratio so the first property of ratios which we should keep in mind is that if we have been given some ratio like a is to b we know that the two, two quantities ratio was found out by maybe cancelling out some common factor k and therefore we could assume that the two, two quantities could be a k and b k so basically a k upon and b k why we took it because a k upon b k is nothing but a upon b which is the ratio a is to b so k can cancel out note that k can even be one here in this case okay so now we have been given a question from the same concept the question states the salaries of ajay and ram are in the ratio of 5 is to 9 so we could assume that salary of ajay is 5k for some k and ram it would be 9k so that the ratio is 5 is to 9 now we have been given the sum of their salaries is rupees 35000 we have to find the individual salaries so 5k plus 9k is nothing but 35,000 so k is nothing but 35,000 divided by 14 5 plus 9 is 14 this goes by 7 so this is 5,000 and we are we get the value of k as 2500 so the salary of Ajay is 5 into k which is 2500 this comes out to be 12,500 and similarly for Ram the salary is 9k which is 9 into 2500 and this comes out to be 22,500 this is how we find out the two salaries now another concept from the ratio topic is there are three types of ratios ratio of greater inequality ratio of less inequality and ratio of equality so the ratio of equality is always equal to 1 is to 1 this is the ratio of equality now the ratio of less inequality is less than 1 and ratio of greater inequality is greater than 1 so example of greater inequality ratios could be 5 is to 3 or 7 is to 4 anything which is greater than 1 or 10 is to 5 which is basically 2 is to 1 and so on and less than 1 could be the reciprocal of these 3 is to 5 or it could be 2 is to 3 basically anything which is less than 1 so these are the examples of ratio of less inequality and ratio of equality is always 1 is to 1 so this is what we should know from the topic ratios